I transformed the nether into the deep dark. This includes making an ancient city, a deep dark village, and in the end, I even trapped a warden. Whoa. So stay tuned for that. First thing we gotta do is go back to the ancient city. Uh, I don't wanna die. Oh shoot. Let's just be safe and destroy all of the shriekers that we can. No! Oh my gosh, are you serious? Well, it's a bit more safe. So now let's collect all of these blocks from the ancient city. And try not to die. <laughs> Just gotta grab a bit of this. I'm actually so scared. Wardens can like two-shot me, so I gotta be careful. Gotta grab some lanterns. Thank you. Oh, that voice crack. I also need to grab a bunch of this wool. And there we go. I think we have everything. Oh, shoot! Okay! Uh, let, let's get out of here. Jeez, he one-shot me. Oh, I have no more totems. Please, not today. I'm not ready to die. Well, that was fun. <laughs> yes, I'm finally back home. Let's now go back to the nether. Oh, yeah, I destroyed my nether portal. There we go. And try to find a good spot to transform the nether. Ooh, this is nice. Ow, okay. So now let's flatten this place out. Fill in this gap right here. There we go, get rid of this lava, and now I can start the actual build. So I'm thinking of building a fortress right here, but then halfway through, it transforms into the ancient city. So for the- Oh, screw you. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna need a bunch of nether brick. Oh, oh wait, yeah, I don't have a totem. Shoot, I almost just died. <laughs> yeah, it might be smart for me to actually grab some totems. Let's get some more nether brick. There we go. All right, let's start the build. So I'm gonna try to mimic a real nether fortress just cause, um, you know, I, I don't know how to build, so. Whoa, you're so annoying. Yeah, die. There we go, we got a pillar. And then kind of mimic how a real nether fortress is. Where it kind of branches out like this. There we go, that looks... Alright. And then copy it on this side. Just like that. And there we go, that kind of looks like a fortress. Right? You just gotta <laughs> thicken it up a bit. God dang it. Let's actually make this part a bridge. Let's make the little railing. And there we go. Let's also add the fences inside here, just like that. And the fortress is done. Now on this half of the fortress, it's still gonna be a fortress, but made out of the ancient city blocks. Just so it looks like it's kind of corrupted into the deep dark. Let's grab all my ancient city blocks, and let's do this. Let's change these nether bricks into deep slate bricks. Let's also change a bit of this pillar like this let's make the top floor using this gray wool because that's what the ancient city does let's also copy how the nether fortress ends and make it look like it broke off like this uh, uh okay <laughs> yeah maybe if we add another pillar it will look better uh <laughs> hopefully there we go that, that that looks all right now we just have to do this on the other side and there we go the fortress is uh, done. Yeah, um, well, at least the outline is done. Let's now go around the place and kind of fix it up a bit. First, let's add some tiles to this bottom layer. That does nothing. <laughs> okay. Oh, we also have to add the fences. But instead of doing nether brick fences, we can use spruce fences. Because that's what the ancient city looks like. There we go. Let's change this top layer with some polished deep slate. There we go. And, uh... Okay, the last thing I can think of is to intertwine this middle even more. Let's change these fences around, add some more bricks. There we go. That looks all right. Okay, um, I, don't judge me. It will get better later on when I add some skulk blocks around it to make it look like skulk is growing on it. But for now, the, the, uh, this is what I got. So let's now go actually grab some skulk blocks. Oh wait, we need a hoe. Oop. There we go. Now let's go gather some skulk blocks. This is so satisfying. Ooh, uh, diamonds. Oh, okay. Don't mind if I do. Alright, I think that's good enough to cover my build. I'm back at the Sanction City because I need these catalysts. Just gotta grab all that I can. Thank you. Please just don't spawn a warden. Oh, diamonds. Man, I'm lucky. Oh, no. I, I guess I gotta destroy these streakers, too. Just so wardens don't spawn. No. Please. I just need catalysts. Don't kill me. Oh, hi. Uh, yeah, okay, I'm out of here. Give me this. Just gotta grow a few more before I die. <laughs> yep. Yeah, okay. No! God dang it. They do so much damage. Warden, I 
I just want my catalyst. That's all I want. Don't kill me. Just gonna grab a few more. No. Why? No. Okay. I think I have enough. I think I have enough. I... Ow. You're so annoying. Why? Oh. Okay. I, I, have, I have to leave. I can't afford to die. 30. 30 catalysts is enough. Alright. I'm out of here. Well, that was successful. I almost died, but we got our catalyst. Now I'm gonna be able to deep darkify this nether. Uh, th that's a word. Just gotta place these catalysts around the place. Oh. Gotta make sure not to place these on the nether side, because this won't be deep dark. But this will make it so that once I... Oh shoot. Kill a bunch of these piglins. It spreads. Let's go. It causes the nether to turn into skulk. Boom. Just those few pigmen and the floor is already a little bit deep dark. Now I gotta just keep doing this until this entire place is deep dark. Th this will take a while. Oh! What? That's... That's a bit dangerous. Oh my gosh. All right, this is taking way too long. Just a small part took about an hour, maybe. But let's just do the other strat and replace this netherrack with skulks. Yeah, this is also taking a long time, but I think this will take less time than the other strat. Uh, hope, hopefully. Oh my gosh, I tried this strat for literally a second, and I'm about to die. I mean, hey, it's it's working, but I'm gonna die. Oh, let's take one of these blocks and place it right here. Oh my gosh. Just so when I kill these guys, more skulk will drop. I don't even know how this many piglin spawned. Well, there we go. This area is fully skulk. Later on, I am gonna skulk this area right over here, and then add a deep dark city. But for now, let's add some splotches of skulk blocks going around this fortress. And let's just put it so it looks like the skulk blocks are spreading. Something like that. Ow. And then let's just spam around these skulk veins, just to give it a bit of texture. Let's place a bit more skulk around this area, also up here on this bridge. Something like this. Hey, I mean, that, that, that's not that bad, right? I mean, all right, compared to what I usually build, this is like a masterpiece, so I'm really proud of it. No, gas are so annoying. All right, now that this is done, let's begin building the deep dark village up here. Again, just like the fortress, I'm gonna make the exact same style as a regular village. It's just gonna be deep darkified. That's a word that I, I created. Let's make this bottom layer deep slate tiles and make the outside deep slate bricks. Just like that. I can make this inside polished deep slate. There we go. And the windows, the more spruce logs, and I, I don't have glass. Gotta smelt it. Thank you. Boom. Let me use cyan and black stained glass to use the colors of the deep dark. Right? That's cyan. Or light blue. Yeah, whatever. Let me place a door down. Some polished deep slate stairs. And now I can build the roof. Using deep slate brick stairs as the outline. There we go. And cobble deep slate stairs. Are you... Seriously? There we go. The first house is done. And you can't blame me for making a bad build because this is literally the village house. So uh, don't judge my building. So this next house will be a little bit bigger and we'll have an oven in it because uh, why not? Again, let's do the same style with these deep slate tiles on the bottom layer and then deep sleep bricks everywhere else. Let's then add some windows right here. Let's add a little countertop and the oven. We also have to add these stairs, and it's done. <laughs> Again, uh, it's it's not the best, but it, it works. <laughs> oh shoot, why'd I hit you? No, I think we're good. Oh! Oh, I guess I am gonna die. Oh shoot. Why do I always do this to myself? Let me at least kill them next to this thing. No, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Help! <laughs> why are you guys following now? Where were you guys when I was over there? There we go, jeez. Anyways, this final house will be the one with the brewing stand in it. This is the only one where the building won't be a square. Uh, yeah, it's not a square, but now it just looks, uh, stupid. But hopefully when it's actually done, it will look a little better. There we go. Outline of this is... Uh, done. Well, hopefully it just looks bad right now because it's only blocks. So let's now do the details. We got the windows right here. Some more over here. There we go. Some windows in here. 
shoot. I'm out of cyan glass. I'm gonna grab some blue dye and some cactus. And boom. And now I can fill this in. Just gotta add some stairs. And then finally, let's add some walls. There we go. Um, <laughs> okay, let's add a bit more. I can add some soul torches here. Some inside here and here. And then I can randomly place some cracked deep slate bricks around the place. Hopefully to make it look better. And there we go. It's it's gonna look good, right? Uh, yeah. All right. We got all the houses done. I think the reason why it doesn't really... God, I hate mobs. Anyways, I think the reason why it doesn't look that good is because the floor is netherrack and not skulk. So, uh, let's get back to it. Changing this entire place into skulk blocks. This, this will take a while. For this part, I don't want any netherrack showing because I want it to look like the nether has been fully turned into the deep dark. You know what? I know this will take so much longer, but let's change this entire ceiling to a deep dark. Ugh, wh why do I do this to myself? I hated that. After about two hours of placing, I, I got the ceiling done. Uh, I also did a bit of up here and just filled in this entire area with skull. I, I don't know why I did this. But there we go. The entire build is done. Nah, I'm joking. <laughs> we still got one more thing to do. And that is to get a warden into the nether. Uh, I, I don't know how I'm going to do that. Before we get the warden, let's build a small cage for him. And then I'm going to make some iron bars to fill in all of the gaps of this cage. There we go. Um, yeah, uh, it's a it's a cage. Let's try a few more walls there and th <laughs> There we go. What what the hell is this? All right, whatever it, it works before we go get the warden We have to build a small noisemaker gonna make a note block and some observers and hopefully this works boom Oh gosh, that's the worst noise ever get me out of here. All right. Well the noise machine works. Let's go get a warden Gotta grab some obsidian so now I can place my nether portal. And just to be smart, let's make a pathway to the build. We're not that far away. I I hate this game. Yes, we're here. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get him in the cage. Why does it sound like that? If I build a wall around here, hopefully the warden will hear the noise and just walk right in. Hopefully, I, I don't know. Well, let's do it. Is he able to walk in a one block area? Eh, we, I mean, we gotta hope so, cause that's how I made it. Let's just make this three blocks tall. Uh, j just in case. Let's do this. All right, where's a streaker? Oh, found one. All right, warden, I'm ready for you. What's up? Um, follow me. Whoa! Oh! He does damage! Oh my gosh! Well, follow me. Is he chasing me? I can't see. Okay, my portal's right over there. Where's the warden? <sighs> I I see you. Yep. Ugh. Oh my gosh. I love this so much. Oh! Get in here. Yes, he went in. Oh yeah. Oh shoot. Okay. Uh, let me let me have a golden apple first. <laughs> just just to be ready. Please don't kill me when I first walk in. Bye. Okay. Follow me. Is he following? He's definitely following. Oh! Okay. Turn. Oh, we have to turn. I don't know if he's following me, but I just gotta keep running, because if I stop running, I'm dead. Okay. Jesus. Gotta grab more totems. Jeez. I can't see anything. All right, come in here. Oh, my God. Mm. Is he in? I can't, I can't see. <laughs> he's in. Let's go. Well, I mean, that was easier than I... Now we still have one more challenge left and that is to fix the roof of this cage Let me just do this. Just got to add these two and destroy all of this All right, we did it and we're done. Let's go. The nether is now transformed into the deep dark I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did subscribe. All right. Bye